Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Fire Emblem 8, the Sacred Stones, in the last episode. Oh god, we found out that we are accompanied by another bleeding base paladin. If Seth wasn't enough, Orson, we've got Orson now. I feel so happy. Then again, at least Orson is doing his bid, is doing his work. He's a wall. I've gotten rid of all of his items. I have stole his items. And, well, all he can do now is wall. Which I'm perfectly fine with. Anyway, we start out, the, for people who didn't watch the last episode, watch it now. Because uh, it's it's quite fun. It's quite good. It's quite challenging level, this is. Basically, we are a unit. We are four units. And the players, of, uh, the people who play Fire Emblem who know the game very, very well, will know that actually we're only supposed to use three of them. You're not supposed to use Orson. Because he's a base paladin. And, well, as we know from Fire Emblem 7 logic, base paladins suck. Marcus, for example, Seth isn't that good, and also now. So yeah, and we're going up against 31 units. Luckily, I've taken out, I'd say, over half of them. Over half of them I've taken out, so yeah, not bad. Alright, Orson, I would like for you, this potato is for you, to uh, go over here. What you gonna do? You're going to attack Orson. Yay. Okay. Now, Orson, move back. Which one of you guys is going to kill? It could be you. Oh, he's got an iron axe. Okay. Or it could be you. It's going to be you, Kyle. Oh, he got hit. Damn. I did not want that to happen. The thing that makes pal base paladins even worse in this game is they don't even have all three. They only have three weapons to choose from now. They only have two. It's the general that now has three weapons, which is brilliant. But no, 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 the other one don't, no. Okay, Ephraim, make your way forward. Very slowly. Squeeze past everything. All right, Kyle, saw him. I saw you the other day. That was terrible. I thought you would like to go to the bovine. As in, I will shoot well, the, the bovine. Really? Is there a place called the bovine? I know bovine's a sort of cow, but that's about it, really. There is one more magic user, so we need to be wary of that person. Of that person in particular. And the knight. The knight will have to just wait for Ephraim to come down. Oh, we missed a support class. I'll get it later. Orson is just... Well, he's dodging, if anything. Which, fair enough. Fair enough to Orson right there. Alright, I don't mind getting hit with a bow. Getting it with a uh, someone else that's really sucks. Okay, Kyle Shazam, take a shot first. Damn, that's not good. Ford, finish him off with your steel sword. Good level up there for Ford. Ford is now level eight. A strength up, always nice to have a strength up, you know. It's always good. Watch out, Ephraim. Nice dodge, nice kill. I hope he's using his steel lance, not his regin thingy. Regin, regin, regin left. Regin left. Oh god! I didn't see him! Crap. I did not see him. That was a lapse in my judgement there. Hmm. Ford still has some elixirs left. That's good. Kyle Shazam. Take him out. Oh crud. Um. Hmm. This is bad. This is really bad, in fact. Uh, you can attack. Orson, rescue him! Run away! Put him out of harm's bloody reach. Probably about there. Can you still hit? He doesn't know, you can't hit. Okay, that's good, you can't hit Ford. That's good. Go. You're gonna attack Ephraim again, and miss. Right. Orson, drop there. Ford, you have an elixir, but I don't want you to use the elixir. So, trade over. No, 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 no. Damn. Never mind. Use a vulnerary to heal yourself up a little. I want to save the elixirs, if anything. Ford, go over there. Ephraim, you are using your steel lance. Good, because you're going to need your regin left for, you, for this uh, knight guy here. Level up for Ephraim. He's now level 8. Nicely played the boat. Oh, an elixir. Another elixir. Very nice. Okay, they're down to just five units. 
no other items I can take. It's okay. Alright, trade over your bloody sword for that elixir. I'll let you have the elixirs, Orson. Alright. Go over here. Heal up. Kyle, you have 15 health or 16 health. That should be enough. Ephraim, slowly make your way. Ford, guard this way. See if anyone's going to attack. They're going to attack. Ford! Go on, Ford. Knock him. You might not even need the original left for this. You're level 8. You're level 8 as well. You're level 8. You suck. You're all level 8, so... Yeah. It doesn't really matter which one of you gets the kill here, does it? I'm either going to give it to Kyle Shazam. There you go. There you go. Kyle's got a nickname, along with Moldy Mulder. Well done. Okay, Ford. Go in. Vulnery yourself. There you go. Okay. Take him on. He will take you all on. He is Ford and he will Ford through everything. He is Ford Car. That's terrible, but it's so terrible it might actually bleed and stick. Okay, Ford again. You have uh, another guy coming towards you. Nice one. Very nice. Very nice one. Okay, Ford. I'm still using you here, Ford. <laughs> Fording through the problems. Uh, you can't do enough damage, you see. That's bad, so we need to use Kyle Shazam to sort that out. Also, support. Might as well support here. Support level can increase. Okay, Carl Shazam, you've got a certain task to take out that uh, that shaman, since you are the one with higher attack. You've got 10, Ford's only got 8, so, well, I need to be... Alright, I'll go over here then. Carl Shazam. Now try. There you go. Carl Shazam, Iron Sword, won't do enough. Steel Lance will. Go Kyle Shazam! I can't believe I might have just pulled this off. Right. First, Orson. Make your way up. Ephraim. Take the elixir off him. You now have three elixirs. Well, three sets of elixirs. Which will have three in them. Right. God, you can do a lot of damage to him, but then he'll kill you. He's got an iron blade, or steel blade, which is a good item. But I'm going to go for a steel lance shot. And Ford is going to use javelin. Do you really think you can take us with those numbers? Well, you're the only one left, so yes, I do. What you going to do? Xanta- Hey, it's Xanta Claus! Where's my present? You get- L Lord Trado, it can't be- were we merely pawns? Of course you were. I mean, come on. There are 31 of you. And we still won! Victory! Ah, oh, that was a... That was a good one. That was good. That was a good level. We've secured the entire castle. You are brilliant, Prince Ephraim. What a plan! What a battle! I estimate at least half of the enemy troops are, on the fe are in the field. We took the castle, but we don't have the manpower to hold it in a siege. There's no point in lingering here. Let's continue on to the Great O'Keep. Hey, is that Ford? It is. Prince Ephraim, things are taking a turn for the worse. I took a look around the castle perimeter. We're surrounded. What? Grado sent reinforcements. So quickly. What should we do? We must escape. Quick, go! Run! Oh, crud! There are a bunch of... I see druids there! And Volta, you piece of shiitake mushroom you are. So, you captured Renville, have you? And with such a small force, impressive. You've earned your reputation, I must say. I quite admire your work. I take it you're the leader of this pack, the misguided Prince Ephraim. I am. I am General Volta, the moonstone of Grado's Imperial Army. Catching up to you has caused me no small amount of trouble. We've reduced your wretched home to, of Rene to ruin, and yet... You and your little band of braves continue to th be a thorn in our side. But it all ends here. We'll see. You claim you've taken the capital of Rene? Tell me. 
How did you know I would attack Renville? Ha ha ha. Patience. You'll have to your answer soon enough. Now, be good lads and drop your weapons, will you? P Prince Ephraim, let's attack! Listen to me, Ephraim. You're a smart man. You know it's futile to fight me. You cannot win. You cannot escape. Accept the reality of your situation and surrender to me. Surrender? <laughs> That's right. If you do, I'll let you live. I hold your life in the palm of my hand. Do not test my good humor. Now, come over here, bend your knee and beg for your life. Show me how Rene dogs grovel. I think not. What? You said your name was Volta, didn't you? Well, I'm sorry, Volta, but I don't have time to waste playing games with you. So, we're going to knock you louts about a bit, and then make our way out of here. Fool, have you gone mad? Do you truly believe you can get make your way past my wife and knights? Watch and see. I don't pick fights I can't win. Kyle, Ford, are you ready? My life has been yours since the moment I took my chivalric vows. It's moments like th these that keep me by your side, my prince. What idiotic wretches you are. Prepare yourselves to be destroyed utterly. We break to the east. Go! Well, go they will. Anyway, it's time for chapter six, Victims of War. Oh, we're back with Erica. Level 10 already, is she? Wow. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I only do like two parts of recording session. Anyway. Erica suppresses the feelings of her knees and continues to search for her brother. Passing through Sarafu. The few. The group, sorry, crosses into the Greater Empire. From here forward, there is no doubt that they, will, that they are walking into hostile territory. In hopes of avoiding unnecessary trouble. Good luck with that. <laughs> Erica and company head for the sparsely populated region of Grado. However, it is too late. Their movements are already being tracked. Oh, for God's sake, we seem to be beaten already here. We're only at chapter 6. Chapter 6, Victims of War. Let's see how this pans out, shall we? Riev, you... So, tell me. You have ascertained Erica's whereabouts, have you not? I have. I've sent more of your men to follow the princess as she fled Seraphim. They tell me Erica and her friends will be coming this way shortly. Our ambush is ready and waiting. There's no way she they can escape. Like rats in a sack, as they say. <laughs> Very good. Won't that wretched Volta be delighted? Now, about this Princess Erica, I hear she's quite a handful. They say her paladin withstood Volta's lance. Even though they haven't used him since, because he, well, between you and me, he sucks. Tell me, Navala, are you certain you can handle this assignment? Don't worry, everything is under control. I've brought along a certain something from Rene. It will negate whatever futile resistance they offer. <laughs> Pray it goes as you say. Very well. Do what you must. I will return to the capital. You will not stay to see how Erica looks in captivity? Unlike two other layabouts I know, I do not have such time to waste. I have much to do for our master. A mountain of tasks awaits me. My time is far too precious to waste on the likes of the royal whelp. Trifles such as these are best left in the hands of servants such as you. Y yes of course. Then, travel well. Hmm. Freakish old man. You should have watched. You might have learned something. I will capture the princess, and I will replace you at our master's side. You will stew in regret, and I will enjoy every moment. Seems to be things we break- Oh, good god. Ha ha ha. Princess Erica of Rene. Accept your fate. You have nowhere to flee. What? Who are you? And where where did you come from? 
You're as beautiful as I heard. And you're even wearing your bracelet. I suppose we should begin there. Would you surrender your lovely little trinket? Ah! My bracelet? Why do you want it? His Majesty desires it. That's reason enough. Once I present it to him, he'll make me a general, and I'll be famous. Come, hand it over, do it quickly, and I'll leave you alive. Princess Erica, you will do no such thing. Of course not. Obedience will save you pain. You came all this way to aid Prince Ephraim, have you not? A fool's errand. Ephraim fell before the Empire's might. As you speak, he wastes away in a cell in Renville. Need be waiting his execution. My brother! You lie! A pitiful worm like you could never defeat my brother! Ha! Protest all you like. It does not change the truth. Ephraim has lost, and it was Greater that defeated him. You're not going... Too close, are you? Very well. Bring me the child. I, I, oi! Leave her out of this, you evil bastard! Help me! Ah! Uh. Look familiar? She's a citizen of your precious Renee. Now, give me the bracelet. Do it, or the child dies. No, please. You win, but I must have your word that the child will suffer no harm. Princess, wait, that bracelet is not worth a child's life. Forgive me, sir. Yes, there can be no mistaking it. Next, your weapons. Take them off and hand them over. No! I don't have any weapons anyway. Surrendering our weapons would be tantamount to suicide. You demand too much of us. I see years of peace and idleness. Have not dullied the wits of the Rene Knights. Well then, my hostage has no more use to me, does she? Ha, <laughs> such a waste. Wait a moment. I had a delicious idea. Have you heard of the giant spiders prowling about this region? What? They'd appreciate a nice hot meal, wouldn't you agree? You can't! No! Haha, -ha. this will be a delight to watch. These fools will co will cause will curse the day they were born to Rene. Why why would you? How could you do such a thing? This is war! This is Sparta! <clears throat> Sorry. There are no rules here. In war, you can do anything. Anything. You curse of Renee have lost. Your idiotic ravings mean nothing. Enough! Hold your tongue! Wh what? I... We, the people of Rene, have long honoured the allegiance with the Greater Empire. And you invaded without warning. You ravaged our land. You killed my father. And then... And then I told myself I must not hate Grado or her people. And I give in to my hate. The bond between our lands would be lost forever. I refuse to hate. Instead, I live for the day our nations could know peace again. But if this is Grado's true face, if you were to extinguish Rene without pity, without remorse, if that's the case, then there is no room in my heart for forgiveness. Impudent girl. Do you expect your words to save your countrymen? They will not. Your beloved people all die, as will you. Oh god. No, the villagers! Ha ha ha! If you must curse someone, curse your dear princess. Help someone! Cry, scream! Ha 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 ha! Evil buggers they are. Are we gonna get eaten? We're gonna be fine. Someone will rescue us. Oh, great! So we got to defeat the boss and save the townspeople! Hmm. Well, there's fog, which is never a good sign. But it looks like there are no... Yeah, looks like there are no treasure chests. So again, we don't need Colin for this one. Uh, Natasha, we're gonna... Well, how do you stand up against Moldy? Um, nice math stats. Moldy, what about you? Where are you? There you are. They're not bad. I'm gonna keep with Natasha for now, though. Franz, Ross, Vanessa, Moldy, Mol not Moldy. We are gonna have Joshua, though, and Saju Seth. I should really be focusing on Garcia sometimes, but not this time. Right, we're gonna against an, uh, we're gonna against someone who has dark magic, so we're good to have Arta with us. 
But that'll be in the next episode, guys. The next episode, we save the children. The, that other man who didn't talk to us. And the slightly older child. See you then.